support. Am I so please? Last record rundown of February, and well, it's an interesting one, you'll see why. This will be for the week of February 24th, 2024. On this day in music back in 1940, the original version of This Land Is Your Land by Woody Guthrie would be written. A satire of Irving Berlin's God Bless America, hence its original name, God Blessed America. Also good to note, the actual line that this land was made for you and me is actually not in this first version. Obviously, he would rewrite it in 1944, and it would be popularized in the 1960s by one Bob Dylan. But maybe I'm crazy. The 20th anniversary album celebrating two decades of classical crossover vocal group Il Devo. Like a lot of their music, it's operatic or classical versions of a lot of pop songs. There's Ed Sheeran on here, there's Louise Fonsi, and obviously Narles Barkley. Don't mean a thing if it ain't got that swing. That's two months now with no new jazz stuff. Hopefully March gives us something. Singing also has been pretty slow for rock so far, given we had that new Green Day album we talked about, and of course that Grateful Dead Live album. Timing this release very well, right after his Super Bowl halftime show, album number nine from legendary R&B singer Usher. Gang leaders with me. Times. I don't know who I fucked last night. I got Alzheimer's. I don't know who them. Who boy? Okay, for the majority of you, you either already think that this is the best album ever or absolutely refuse to listen to it for, well, reasons. For the few of you who are still on the fence or don't even know about this, honestly, I do not think it's worth the effort to actually unpack all the context around this and the artist to actually enjoy the album in the first place. <laughs> Well, here's hoping March gives us something to talk about in the dance and electronic realm. And now I need some help from the maestro, please! Am I, I has gone three times platinum, and deservingly so, I say. I know that last night we let the liquor talk. I can't remember everything we said. Is he still touring for this? Yeah, he's still touring for this. April 4th, Indianapolis, I guess is the next show. When forever was a sentence, sentence to... Yet another version of Stick Season it includes one new track, Forever, which you just heard, as well as redone versions of a bunch of his other songs on the previous two editions with additional artists, such as Dial Drunk with Post Malone. Coming home, yeah, I'm coming to be, wanna cut Getting all the way to number two, not bad for his first independent album, given it is Usher. Gang leaders with me all times. I don't know who I fucked last night. I got Alzheimer's. I don't know who them. I don't even know how to say the name of the supergroup between Kanye West and Ty Dolla Sign. It's just the yen symbol and the dollar symbol. Is it yen money? Yen dollars? YS? How do I say this? I guess we were a little light on the albums this month, but I guess that's not entirely unusual. Regardless, it is the end of the month, so you know it comes out next week. And now I need some help out of my stove, please! My stove.